in this video I explain the final revision about the practical exam. In the day of uh, practical exam, all the circuits should be connected by the teacher. So when you enter the lab, everything will be connected like, like this. So I will show you that. This one is experiment number uh, one. It is connected. And this is a sample of exam. This exam 2014, 2015. And also it has uh, graph paper because we need a graph for experiment number one on the loop. And this one is experiment number two, resistivity. Everything is connected. And also the length of the wire it's given, the diameter is given, the radius. So, and also here, this is a sample of the exam, 2015, 2000, uh, 2013, 2014, and the graph paper. And then this experiment, okay, number four, also it is connected, everything, and this is a sample of exam, it's 2014, 2015. This exam is um, experiment number five, also it is connected, everything is connected. And this is a sample of exam. Then, uh, actually, this will come as a separate exam, ex uh, experiment number seven. But it comes in the exam as three different uh, exams. So this is one exam, and this one, and this one. So they are three different exams. So they are three. So this one exam for uh, a straight wire, and this one for a solenoid, and this one circular coil. Okay, and this experiment number six. And this experiment number three, everything is connected. Now let us restart. Now this is experiment number one in exam 2014-2015. Uh, a problem a student wants to investigate the relationship between the current and the voltage across an ohmic resistor in a constant temperature. Planning and write the procedure of an experiment in order to help the student to solve the problem. So we answer this. This answer depends on the procedure, that procedure in the lab manual. So we have to write minimum, we write four. Now this is the answer of the first question. Set up the circuit, then close it. Determine the zero error of a meter and voltmeter. Adjust the rheostat to pass a low current. Record the reading of a meter and voltmeter. Take a set of readings by adjusting rheostat gradually. Now let us see the next question. Yeah. Implementation and recording. Now switch off the circuit after reading our record. So now we start. So now adjust here the voltmeter to 3 volt to the minimum value. Adjust the rheostat to get the minimum. When you take the reading, take care the reading of voltmeter and the reading of ammeter. After you take the reading, switch off immediately. Don't keep it on for a long time. So what we do, we take the reading of ammeter and voltmeter. Here, this is tried one, two, three, four. So we need four readings for the voltmeter and the current. Okay. In ammeter, we switch on. So this is one dash in a meter to, uh, to avoid the parallax error we have to look perpendicular to the meter so it is just one dash each one dash in a meter is 0 0.02 so the first trial for the meter it is 0 0.02 now we take the reading of voltmeter switch on so it's approximately one dash for the voltmeter, each one dash is 0 0.1. So it is 0 0.1. Now, we finish the second question. That are our reading. Okay, this is the readings of the current, four times. Now, analyze it and enter parting. Okay, draw the graph of the voltage on y-axis. Okay, so now this is the graph. Take care here for the graph. On y-axis, we represent the current. So we have to, to leave the same space. 
So two squares, two squares, two squares, two squares, two squares, and put here the current and the unit in ampere. And in y axis, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, also two squares, two squares, two squares. And here the voltage, and here the title of experiment, experiment number one. Now we uh, plot the points here, the points that are the points. Now we draw the best fit line. Take care, the best fit line must pass through the origin and in between. So we draw the best fit line now. Now, this is the best fit line. It's perfect line. Okay, now, draw, so we finish this question. Draw the graph of uh, voltage on y-axis versus the current on, on x-axis. So the current on x-axis and uh, uh, the voltage on y. From the graph, calculate the value of R. So we find the slope. Yeah. Now, from the graph, we draw a triangle, and then we find the slope, because, because it's a VI graph, so the slope equals R time here. So the slope equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. This is Y2, 0 0.2. This is Y1, 0 0.1 over X2, 0 0.04 minus X1, 0 0.0. Uh, so the answer is 5. So we say R equals the slope equals 5 ohms. Actually, it is perfect because already here the resistor that we use the 5 ohms. So you have to check the answer. If it's around the 5, it's correct. For now we finish this experiment. Okay? So we finish experiment number one. Also, when you solve here, you have to use the bin. So the answer was bin. But in the graph, the answer was pencil. In the graph, now we finish, we write our name on this one, student name and the class, and then together fix it, okay? So we finish experiment number one. This is experiment number two. In experiment number two, we use milli voltmeter, milli voltmeter. So this is the experiment number two, and now, we read the question of experiment number two. A student wants to determine the resistivity of a wire. This is a wire. Of a wire using the connected circuit in front of you. This is a connected circuit. Now, planning, write the procedure of an experiment in order to help the student to solve the problem. So we write the procedure. You have to memorize the procedure from the lab manual. Now we write the procedure. Now this is the answer of uh, the procedure. Close the circuit, adjust the variable resistor to its minimum value, record the reading of the ammeter and voltmeter, repeat the same procedure but by increasing the resistance of variable resistor. The next question, switch off the circuit after reading. Okay, now we need to write this one. The length of the wire here, the length is 1 meter, so it's 100 centimeter. The diameter of the wire, it is given. The diameter is given by the teacher. So we don't use the micrometer in this. So this is the diameter. So the cross-section area. Now we calculate the cross-section area. Now we calculate here. This is the length of the wire. It's 100 centimeter, change it to meter. The diameter is given. So, but we change it from millimeter to meter, multiply by 10 power negative 3, and we calculate the cross-section. But take care for calculations in this experiment. So the problem of this, the calculation, the problem of this experiment is the calculation. So the area, or the cross-section area denoted by A, it is 3.83 times 10 power negative 7 meters square. Now we start to take the reading. Switch on. We adjust this to the middle. So, here it's one dash, so the current is zero one dash. So one dash it is zero point zero two. So the answer is zero point zero two. Now we measure the voltmeter here. Here in the milli voltmeter, in the milli it's two point six, two point five, two point four. Now we wait to get the fixed the stable value. So just we look here, it is here, it's 2.5, so it is 2.5. 2.5 milli 
voltmeter. So it's a 2.5 multiply 10 power negative 3. Now we take another reading. Now we take the three readings, okay? But take care when you, you take the reading of millivolt meter. You have to wait two steps. Then we start to calculate. Here we need to calculate R in each step. We need to calculate R in each step. Now we finish the, uh, the reading of voltmeter and current, and we calculate the resistance in each one. Remember, V equals IR, so R equals V divided by R. So we divide V by I in each. The average value of R, we add them up and divide by 3. So the average is 0 0.10 ohm. Calculate the resistivity of the used wire from this relation. So rearrange this relation to write resistivity as a subject. When we rearrange the formula, R equals rho L over A. So R A or A R equals rho L divided by L. So rho equals A R over L. Now this is the answer of resistivity. A R over L. A, we calculated before, 3.83 times 10 power negative 7. R, 0.1. L, it is 1 meter. So this is the answer of resistivity. 3.96 times 10 power negative 8. Remember the unit, ohm meter. Now, what will happen to the resistivity, the wire, if its cross-sectional area is doubled? Nothing will happen because resistivity does not depend on the cross-section area or the length of the wire because it depends on the material. So the answer of this part, what will happen uh, of to the resistivity if the cross-section area is doubled, remain constant. So nothing, it remains constant. It means 